Hello world, Great Giza Pyramid. What you see here is the three pyramids on the plateau. The largest one from its base to its uh, highest elevation is about 450 feet. It extended to its apex, which is where this is. This one is 480 feet because it's at a higher elevation ground level. This particular pyramid, its highest elevation is half the distance between the, the top of the Great Giza Pyramid on ground level, and it sits at approximately 215 feet. The elevation of this is actually a little bit higher than the elevation of this because the whole plateau is on an angle with the Nile being at its base. The Sphinx is at an elevation approximately down here in respect to that, and the Osiris shaft, the opening of it, is at an elevation approximately there, but extends down well below it to even today what is the water table of the entire area, uh, which is why it's always wet down there. Now, the, this is the ground for the entire system. What the system does, the containment vessel does, is it brings the water down into this system, breaks it into its respective gases, the oxygen being vented back out in doing so, because it has to bubble through the rocks, creating a positive air pressure there, lowering the water level within the structure down. The upper section here, the hydrogen is brought up, joined in what they like to call the king's chamber, coming through the floor, that's the back flash arrestor, into the system, where it is joined with the ambient air from outside. You've got 21% uh, oxygen, and you've got 78% nitrogen, takes that oxygen, rejoins it, create water. That water basically flows through the system, coming down into the system, and it pools down in the uh, system here. The ambient water level on the outside of the system is approximately one-third of the way up the hallway of the Queen's Chamber, and then, or what I like to call the Ark Chamber, and the water level settles in the system at being just below the floor line of the water level because of how this brings the system to a lower elevation. The ambient air pressure within the system is actually at a negative air pressure because of how when water cools and condensates it creates um, a vacuum as opposed to steam where it gets warm and expands and has pressure. The system within here is such that within the system it is below the water line of the uh, outside ambient uh, water level and it is such that the gases within the system here create a positive air pressure within here forcing the water level again to a lower elevation and the way right here there is the design of a, a uh, little hook there it creates the air pressure to then bubble out of the system and uh, just creates the, this water to be under pressure. And that, that then comes over to this system where here the entire system goes at a higher elevation than the roof line of the Queen's Chamber and then doubles back down and comes out to the side where if you look down from the north or from, from above, this side being north, this side being the, uh, the east. There is a outlet within the side there that is just below the water level of the entire system. That is creating a cap within the system, or a, a, a bubble within the system to allow, allow whatever it is that they are collecting, whether it be a light water or a heavier gas or maybe a light gas, whatever it is that that is being produced within the system, it is siphoned out through that where they have all the um, all the extra pieces and parts there. I'm sure that's for loading and unloading and storage and whatever it is. The That is the containment vessel. Within here, you will notice when you pay attention to the elevations that the rooms within here are such that they all coincide with both the elevations of the other parts of the system and how within the Osiris shaft 
it comes in at like an angle where you come down, have to go up and go down. These are all catches within the system to make sure that the product that they are capturing is siphoned and retained within this structure and produced either throughout the entire system. They, they may have multiple um, things that they are capturing, multiple uh, gases and liquids, or there may be one uh, root harvest. This part I don't know. That's why I want to recreate the system and actually get a, a much better understanding of whether it is just electricity or whether they actually have a product that they are capturing. And that's all I have. A quick overview. If you have any questions, you can always reach me. C at giza.ws or C at greatgizapyramid.com. Uh, you're welcome to call or text me. I'm also Skypeable, uh, Wappable, uh, WhatsAppable. Um, anyway, I, I try to put myself anywhere out there. If you're you're willing to actually have a true discussion, I'm willing to listen and talk to you. Have a nice day. If you have any input that you can aid me on, I'm, I'm totally willing to listen. Please check out all my other videos um, to have an understanding of the of the other intricate pieces. It's an awesome piece of machinery. And uh, I just want people to realize that. Have a nice day. Bye.